Here we have a 2008 Honda Jazz in a blue, starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth, you've got plenty of tread there, looking at easily a good 5mm in the centre of the tyre depth. Looking at the alloy, as we can see, there's a little bit of curbing on the outside edge there. Looking around the rest of the alloy, again, you've got a little bit of curbing on the outside edge. Not too bad for its age, no potential refurb. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, now I personally cannot see any dings or dents at all down there. Driver's mirror is in nice condition. Um, offside front arch, again, no signs of any rust, etc. Again, very clean looking car. Looking at the driver's door, just the odd one or two light scratches will require polish. One or two minor little chips in the door edge, again, may require some touch-ins. A couple of scratches on the sills, nothing to report on the roof. Looking at the rear door, again, just the odd one or two light scratches. Door edge is fine. Around the rear arch, you've got some uh, scratches there, can just about get my nail into those, so just be wary of that. Also, a very small scuff mark on the rear quarter. Looking at the rear tyre, again, you've easily got a good 5 millimetres of tread there. Looking at the rear alloy, again you've got a bit of curbing there. Looking around the rest of the alloy looks fine, so again, this bit's just dirt, but there's a very little scuff mark on the top there. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. Looking at the rear bumper, again just the odd one or two light scratches. Uh, these ones here will require a bit of paint as they are a little bit deep, as you can see, but again the rest of them should mop or polish out without any problems. No serious damage at all to the rear of the car, so it's all in good order. Inside the boot, no sign of any parcel shelf, but as you can see it's in a lovely, clean, tidy condition. Spare wheel underneath there as well, so that's all well. Near side rear tyre again, you're looking at a good 5mm of tread there. And looking at the near side rear alloy. Taking a good look at the condition, a couple of minor little curb marks on the outside there. Again, nice for its age. No signs of any dinks or dents at all down the near side. Near side rear door's fine, you've got some light scratches going down the paintwork here. Front door edge is fine, again just one or two little nicks in the paint that will require some touch-ins. Bit of a scuff mark on the passenger mirror there, again that will require a bit of paint. Front arch is fine, and easily a good 4-5 to five on the front tyre there, so plenty of tread on all four tyres. Some curbing around this alloy as you can see, so again will require a refurb and a good clean. We've run to the front end of the vehicle, a couple of stone chips around the front, nothing really else to report, no signs of any damage, it all looks in good order, and a couple of stone chips on the bonnet of the vehicle as well. Now let's take a look at the interior. Lovely, clean, tidy condition inside, no signs of stains, rips, scratches, etc. All the carpets are in a lovely condition. You can clearly see the car has been taken care of, so real nice condition inside. Let's take a look at your driver's seat. And again, as you can see, lovely condition. Everything appears to be looking very well. Front passenger seat's also looking good. Stepping inside the vehicle itself, steering wheel's in a nice condition. All the dashboard, there's no signs of any scratches or marks. It's all very tidy. Now, we are looking at two sets of keys with the vehicle, as you can see there. And if we just get the car started, As you can see, no issue at all starting the car. Looking at 29,210 miles on the clock with no symbols appearing on the dash. Now, it is an automatic transmission. Blows a bit fine, the air conditioning comes out nice and cold. Uh, if we just turn the radio on. As you can see, no issues there. So everything's in good working order. Now, looking at the uh, V5, it is a copy as the plate is on retention. We're looking at four owners on the vehicle, so four owners in total. November 18th, 2015 for the MOT. And service history wise, just to top it off, we're looking at a full Honda service history. As you can see, plenty of stamps. We last one there at 25,000 miles. There you go, guys. That's a very nice looking 2008 Honda Jazz. And not a bad looking car for its age.